Sigma males are often the ones who step outside their comfort zones, create amazing things, start businesses, are quiet and confident partners, and hard workers. For them, stagnation is boring. Their minds are constantly working. They have all kinds of thoughts and ideas, and they are future-oriented. Most of the top business leaders are Sigma males. They are among the highest earning people. One of their biggest goals is often career success. They value this kind of success because it offers measurable proof of their ideas in action. Unfortunately, they face roadblocks in the workplace that other personality types don't. So how can they tap into their Sigma strengths to succeed? Sigma males have what it takes to succeed, if they can just get recognized in their extrovert-obsessed workplaces. Here are six key tips that help Sigma propel himself quickly in his career. 1. Delegate repetitive tasks. As big-picture thinkers, most Sigma males aren't good at small repetitive tasks. They thrive when they have interesting, challenging projects to tackle. But as perfectionists, they also want things done exactly right. As a result, they may find themselves doing all the boring work instead of trusting someone else to do it. But this is a bad habit, and one Sigmas need to break if they want to succeed. It keeps them locked in busy work when they should be tackling bigger problems. The answer is to delegate. Delegation is a powerful skill for a Sigma male, because it lets him focus his attention on the most important work like strategizing and planning. But not every career lets him delegate the same way. It depends on whether he is a manager, self-employed, or has a traditional job. As a manager. If you're a manager, you should already be delegating. Focus your own effort on planning, and let your staff do the implementation. Whenever possible, do not engage in the work yourself, instruct, guide, and be clear about exactly what type of result you expect. Then get out of the way. As a self-employed. If you're self-employed, consider getting an employee. You can hire a virtual assistant for just a few hours a week. This saves you countless hours and lets you focus more on your creative work, something that Sigma males deeply value. In a traditional job. If you have a traditional job with no staff under you, you cannot directly delegate. But there are two things you can do to get repetitive work off your plate. Actively seek out larger, more challenging projects. One strategy is to go to the person whose job looks more interesting than yours and ask them how you can help. Make a list of your most annoying non-work tasks. Evaluate how you could fit a housekeeper, virtual assistant, or childcare into your budget. Don't think of it as a luxury, think of it as an investment. Spending a small amount of money could buy you a lot more free time for the projects you actually care about, in or out of work. 2. Identify the successful people above you. Doesn't matter what personality type your boss is, but probably somewhere up above them, making major company-wide decisions, is a sigma male or an alpha male. There's a reason for this, these personality types are oriented around getting results. One of the best career moves you can make is to learn to recognize other successful people. Once you find them, there's a secret handshake you can use to get their attention. The handshake is showing them what you can do. Remember that plan you came up with for improving the database? The one that your supervisor said was, not what we need to focus on right now. Email them and say, I just had this idea. I think it will have this result for our department. They may or may not use your idea. But if you do this consistently, don't be surprised if they ask you to come to meet with them. 3. Partner with extroverts. If you ask Sigma males what's holding them back, they give remarkably similar answers. I don't like networking. I don't have good social skills. These may be their weaknesses, but for other extroverted people, they are strengths. Partner with these people. The great thing about natural extroverts is that if they like you, they usually want to talk you up. So ask them to come with you to the networking lunch or industry happy hour. Let them work the room and wait for the introductions to roll in. 4. At networking events, be the smart one. You can't always count on a friend to network for you, but you don't have to learn to be a social butterfly. There are better ways to build the connections you need. Research the people you want to know. Don't go to an event to meet as many people as possible, that's an extrovert's approach. 
Instead, go with a plan. Look at the speakers, companies, or individuals who will be there and decide who you want to meet. Then research everything about them. Prepare questions to ask and topics to talk about. Your knowledge will make you more interesting, and you'll focus your effort where it counts. Go to events just to observe. Move from conversation to conversation keeping your ears open for the most interesting person in the room. Then get involved in a conversation. The right connection is worth a hundred business cards. Don't fake it. Because Sigma males love learning, they tend to be experts in certain subjects. They are also smart, blunt, and to the point. That isn't popular in every setting, but it's an asset in business. So embrace it. Look for chances to speak from a position of knowledge. Don't debate or critique, just state your opinion on matters where you have the expertise, then let others talk. When you embrace your Sigma strengths, you will impress people. 5. Learn to do feelings. Sigma males are known for being reserved emotionally. Yes, they do have emotions, but for them, it's a private matter. For example, it's extremely rare to catch them gushing their happiness or crying when they are upset. But as every Sigma male knows, at some point, you will have to deal with emotions on the job. You might have a sensitive co-worker, a wild and passionate boss, or a staff person who gets stressed easily. This is not what we want in our workplace as Sigma males, but it's not usually something we can avoid. What we can do is learn to handle it. You don't have to feel feelings. You just have to do feelings. When a colleague has strong feelings, the work will not get done until those emotions are acknowledged. The person needs to feel heard. And you can help them feel heard, even if you don't want to get touchy-feely. Don't be a jerk. You don't have to radiate empathy, but make sure to rein in any annoyance, sarcasm, or lack of interest. Set a time frame. People want their feelings to be valued. Yes, even Sigma males. But on the job, they also understand that there's work to be done. When a co-worker needs to talk about their feelings, say, I tell you what, I only have 15 minutes, but tell me what's on your mind. Listen. Stoically listening does not make you seem cold. It's actually quite wise. Don't offer fake comfort. If you're not good at giving comfort, don't do it. It will seem fake. The best response you can give is often, I'm sorry. That's hard. This expresses understanding without pretending you can make things better. Don't push solutions. Venting emotions is about getting them out, not about putting new ideas in. As a Sigma male, you likely see the underlying problem, or even think it's easy to solve, but don't suggest solutions unless they directly ask for them. Even then, tread lightly. 6. Remember the most important step for Sigma male success. One thing that makes them all more effective, spending time with other like-minded people. The Sigma male personality type is very rare. In your entire life, you may only meet a few other people who think like you. So seek them out, particularly people who are mature and successful. If you do find other Sigma males, the benefits of conversation within your type can be powerful. They're all just as direct and honest as you are. No one thinks you're cold. Sigma males have a lot more shared experiences than we realize. They make great book recommendations. Other Sigma males have faced similar obstacles you have. And they have solutions.